YouTube, what's up? It's your boy 360 Jeezy, and today in this video, I did an undercut. All right, it's a basic undercut, I blow dry and style at the top. Uh, if you like this video, please make sure you guys give it a thumbs up. All right, this is a big transformation. If you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. I'm, I'm gonna give you guys a chance to subscribe. Give you guys a chance to subscribe. It's just right here. All right? It's just right here. It's your boy 360 Jeezy. Stay tuned. All right, first thing I wanna do is I wanna put in my Diane Duck Clips to separate the top hair from the bottom hair, all right? It's important that you guys do this so that you won't get any of the top hair, you know, laid over so you can accidentally cut it. This, this putting in these clips makes it easier for you guys to just cut the bottom hairs, all right? All right, the first step is to put in that ball guideline, okay? Um, on this undercut, I'm not really gonna do a high fade, but that's what normal uh, people do when they do these uh, undercuts, is they kind of give their client a high fade. But I'm not gonna do that because I wanna see a, a great transition. Just for me and my eyes personally, just makes for a better undercut when you can see a transition in the fade, but all I'm doing is kind of making it slightly contoured to his head. Um, you see as in the front, I, I kind of dropped it just a little bit while I'm working th towards the back. And uh, that's kind of what I do to all my cuts because it just, you know, creates a, a more custom look to your client's head. You know, not every client has the same head uh, head shape and, and, and you know lumps and all that so you guys got to kind of custom make these haircuts for all your clients head Right now I'm using my wall five star shavers just to uh, get it razor bald at the bottom. Um, it adds a, a nice uh, transition, you know, not a transition, but yeah, transition, but another layer of, of, of a guideline, if you guys, you know, get what I'm saying. It's basically like another step below the bald guideline. So it looks more blended on the outcome. Right now I'm putting in my lever open guideline and I'm going up I want to say it's more than a half inch. This is basically in the middle of the fade. Okay, I'm I'm doing this because um, an undercut is basically like it's not a it's not a real fade. It's like a short fade into long hair. All right, there is no uh, gradual gradual uh, you know blend into the hair. You know that's why I use these Diane duck clips um, to prop the hair up. So it, it goes, it's a fade and then just straight into long hair. So right now I'm just setting it, set, setting in my uh, lever open and just, you know, putting it to the middle. Right now I'm using my one open and I'm taking my comb, I'm digging it into the hair so that the hair is out of the way and I'm taking all of the bulk off. I'm just going straight into it, all right? The undercut is basically 
uh, the, the, uh, a number one and then long hair. All right? There's no need to fade into the hair. So I'm digging my comb in as you guys see and I'm taking all that bulk off. All right, all the rest of the bulk, you don't even have to do it. You don't have to do a number two. You can just take it all off with the, the one guard. All right, right now to soften up that middle line, I just use my one guard clothes and this is not gonna take out the line, don't, don't get me wrong. It's not gonna take out the, the line, it's basically just gonna soften it up. So when you go behind it with the zero clothes, uh, it'll take it right out. Using the zero close, now it's time to take out that middle line, all right? This is where uh, it makes it more easier to take out the line because you already used the, the one close. So all you gotta do is use your wrist motion <clears throat> and basically flick out. That's, that's the technique that I use. Everybody gotta develop uh, their own technique on their flick out motion, all right? It's the wrist action. It's like a one, two, one, two, one, two. One, two, one, two, one, two. You know, it's, it's, it's a rhythm that you guys have to, to, to uphold in order to, to, to get a dope blend. You know, you gotta develop a, a wrist motion. All right, in that same flick out motion, you wanna use your lever closed and uh, flick out. Um, it's important not to stick exactly straight to the, to the script, you know what I mean? Like, do not just use the lever closed this whole time. Like, you could open it up a little bit and close it a little bit. Do not be confined to just using these guidelines, you know what I mean? Opening up the lever and closing the lever is very important. Right now I'm using my Andy's Modified GTXs. These are basically some GTX clippers. Uh, I just cut the top off and uh, I got the gold blade on there. Now the gold blade, <clears throat> it's, it's, not, it's not like you need the gold blade to get a crisp cut. I can use a regular silver blade all right, and get the same results. I just like the look of the gold blade a little bit better, all right? It just looks. It, 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 it. The gold blade hits, don't get me wrong. All right, I can get the gold blade to hit, but it doesn't, this is, it doesn't make or break your, your liners, you know what I mean? It, you can get anything to hit this hard. It's all about how you adjust your liners. Right now I'm gonna blow dry and style his hair. I'm gonna be using my comb and a blow dryer. Uh, what I put in his head is some, I wanna say it was some Layrite uh, Super Hope, but I'm just gonna use my comb and, and, and blow dry and style. Look at the earring, you guys. Look how on the left the earring isn't popping and bam.
bam! After he got a new, fresh cut, the cut can transform the bling in your earring to make your earrings look mo blingish. All right, if blingish is a word. <laughs> all right, YouTube, but this is the cut. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button, all right? It's your boy 360 Jeezy, and I'm out of here. Cheer!